I'm all right. fixing that. Connex 2020, baby. Look at what I found. You guys remember, remember this guy? You don't have excavator soccer set up. I know, I don't, but I can still <laughs> use a winner winner chicken dinner. So, I gotta win something. What am I winning today? What are you gonna win? Uh, well, Slap what casino are you staying at? <laughs> How about a free trip home, right? Yeah, there you go. All there right. you go. Free All trip right. home. So we got, look at this. See this guy? This guy is on it. Put your no, arm no. out. Put your arm out. Put your arm out. There we go. I want a mouse pad. Yeah, not See, there. Everybody's a winner in the holiday. I know. You get That's one it. more and it's magical. All right, so they tell me you don't know crap about anything except for excavator yeah. soccer. Yeah, that's probably true. Excavator soccer's not here. Right? I know. They tell me he's the expert. Well, yeah, okay. So, All right. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show you on, and he's gonna take us around and show us. All right, it's a deal, brother. All right. right here, right here. Oh yeah, yeah. We can't handshake, so we got the fist bump going down. Oh yeah, right we're nailing we it. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to check out is the new, this is the big unveil here at the show. It is. It is. This is the first time that we've shown this machine. So what uh, we got? What we, we got? We didn't even see it at Bama. What? We didn't see it at Bama. This is the new HL930A. Check out. It's even a, a new style decal. New HL930A in an XT version, so extended reach. We got standard reach and extended reach. Here no, we got an extended no, reach. No, we got some amateurs here, so extended reach. So we're basically talking about the, the distance from the tire. Yeah, yeah. so bucket. actually it gives us a regular pin would be somewhere around about here. So we get an increased old dump clearance of that. Of that uh, it also that protects those front tires. Yeah, and if you got a bad operator, you know, you're not that good, don't want to hit the side of a truck, Wait, right I, here. I see a little extra clearance. I think it's more like Captain Cleman, but we'll leave that part hey, out. Hey, hey, you don't want Big Joe Rogers jumping out of the truck <laughs> and, knocking, and, and, and bending up your badge here right. for TJ. So I was at another manufacturer's booth, yeah. and I may have used their simulator and dropped a rock or two on their cab. Ouch. Yeah, it's not good. But if, I had, but if I had extended reach, you you probably could be, I, it probably would have been just that. fine. It would have been just fine. So. so it's a great machine. It's our new performance series engines from Cummins. It's a B4.5 uh, four-cylinder diesel. Uh, it's a fantastic machine. You missed the most important part. I probably did. How sexy it is. It's awesome. That is a good looking machine. We got machine. booth babes there like walking around here drooling Oh, about I'll this tell thing. you what, there's there's some other stuff around here I should be looking at and I'm checking out this thing. So, and there's a whole new line of wheel loaders for Hyundai that we've got here. Let's uh, go check them out. Here, here. Let's go. Uh, this week. All right, we're, uh, are we sitting in a spaceship? Uh, almost, almost. What, does this button take us to the moon? Uh, it, it, it's, that's nope. hazard warning, that's ejector seat. That's <laughs> ejector seat. I'm glad you got the battery disconnected. That could have been yeah, bad. Yeah, it would have so. been terrible. Man, I feel like, uh, what's that movie where that guy says, man, this thing is nice. So, what are we sitting in? It's not a spaceship, obviously. Not a spaceship. It's the all-new HL975A CVT. CVT. So, we got a fancy transmission in this one. Continuously variable transmission. Unbelievable. Um, this, yeah. So, this thing's probably, I mean, obviously, we can't drive it in here, but I'm imagining this, the smoothness of this machine and the options you can do. You cannot feel the machine shift at all. Wow. It's instantaneous power. As soon as you bump the, the lever to run the hydraulics, uh, to move the bucket or the boom, instantly you're going to see power happen. Uh, you're having initial RPM bump to uh, boost up those pumps. Uh, climate control cab, pressurized cab. It has the AEBM system, so it's a four camera system around the machine uh, for safety. And I mean, lots of air vents keep the, keep an operator cool. Air ride seat. The controls are mounted to the to the seat. It has joystick steering with forward and reverse on the joystick ton of features uh, bluetooth radio you name it it's got it now one thing that you guys think you excel at that i don't think you push hard enough is your touch screen touch screen monitor is yes. one of the best on the market i I'm, i love it and the it, reason why i say that is it's so user friendly like it may not have as many options and you can't do as many things with this one as you can some of the other ones right right but i mean i'm if anybody watches my channel, they know I'm not the smartest guy out there. <laughs> I do good to get a video up from time to time, but that screen's easy to use. It's easy to use, and we did a couple other things. So one thing that's in that screen is an auto way system. So we have a scale really? that's built into the machine. So it's ready to go. It's ready to go, but we did one other upgrade to this thing. We actually did a lock feature on it. So there were some options of where that you could change engine modes and things like that. Right, right. And you got put put a bunch of different operators in. They want to push buttons. Well, guess what? Yes. We, lock, we lock some of that stuff out we so we you like, don't have to like push buttons. a button. Oh, well, that's yeah. no fun. We lock some of that stuff out so things don't get changed. Another cool feature this machine has. I've seen that. 
Just keep a little it clean. airline right here. Blow yourself off before you get into the cab. That way you keep it nice and clean and have a uh, nice, nice uh, operator See, it's just platform. Basic things like that that make a difference sometimes. So what uh, what class machine is this? Uh, this is a 6.3 yard machine. Awesome. 6.3 yard powered by a Cummins X12 engine. So it's a very performing. comfortable machine. There's no doubt a guy could spend eight hours in this. And it, it, hey, it's a guy's office if he's in it. All right. So now I love the wheel loaders. I have a wheel loader. I'm an excavator guy. Let's go talk about excavators. You got anything ex exciting around here about excavators? I got a couple of cool things. All right. When following, you see them. following you, let's do it. Yep. All right, Justin. This is the machine that almost was. I almost had one of these. Almost. HX. 145 LCR. There are so many machines about, so many things about this machine I love from the way it's engineered and the way it's built. But I'm gonna let you tell me the sales side of it. Uh, lots of great stuff. Uh, this machine features our Roadliner pad, track pads. So it's a steel pad with rubber bonded to it. So if you're doing operations inside like a subdivision, uh, you can operate on asphalt without having to put down a bunch of mats. That's a heck of a feature. Uh, quick coupler, uh, this machine features a Hyundai quick coupler. Uh, we're featuring an uh, ancient quick rock grinder, which uh, those guys have, have a pretty cool attachment. I don't know if right I could ever afford one of those, but I sure would like to have one. I think it'd make a great tiller. <laughs> yeah. it could probably, you could till up some stuff. That's so, no joke. Uh, long arm, but also on that long arm, we've got our hydraulics coming down, and you'll notice that there's a, a shutoff valve. So if you want to mount a thumb to it, you can. If you want to mount a breaker to it, you can. Or if you want to plumb it up to this ancient quick, you can do that as well. Uh, other cool thing, uh, one piece top plate, one piece bottom plate on that boom. Yep, it's a super, it. super strong internal gust. I think there's so, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of detail in this video, and I have this in my other video, but there are so many things about the way that boom is built that from a country boy engineering standard, I think are ingenious. Just from the way the gussets are made on the top to the one piece down through there, the way the welds are here in the back, just a lot of things I've noticed that out to me that this is our common sense engineering like somebody didn't try to overthink it they do they did no. what they knew would work so one thing i want to point out that a lot of people don't think of is just just it's just simple things like the key switch right here i can it, i can reach that from the ground yeah it's up out of the way so it's not over in your where it's your uh, close to a joystick or anything it's up against over over out so of the you, way so the it's just simple things if you jump out of the machine and have a conversation and then you'll you're like Oh crap, something went wrong. I gotta leave the job site. Yep, I don't have to climb in the machine, climb up behind the seat, turn it off, and yep. leave. I just reach up, flip it, fold the door, and away exactly. we go. And it's, exactly. Other thing, you know, whenever you're getting in and out, you need a lot of room. Yes, there's yep. other other models that I won't mention. The distance between here and the joystick is very limited. Especially on a zero turn machine, zero or limited, what do you call this? Com this is a compact radius. Compact radius. Yep. So the distance between here and here is so much less or so much more it's really easy to climb in and out of and it does make a huge huge difference one other thing i want to point out i'm sorry i'm talking a lot but the <laughs> position of the monitor yes it's up and it's angled a little bit yeah and if you need to adjust the angle of that thing it will angle up and down right. and then it'll also do a little bit side to side and it's got a nice sunscreen on there yes. our uh, shade to kind of help help with the glare that yep. might happen it uh it's just it's really good comfortable placement and uh it's again it's just easy to use there's a uh, Let's walk around here. There's stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'm showing you stuff. You're supposed well, to be showing me stuff. I, I probably should, but you, uh, apparently you did all your homework. <laughs> I'm trying to find out why you <laughs> didn't. don't have one. Well, that's that's a whole nother video, there, buddy. Well, I gotta watch that one. So, anyways, but the way you guys put part numbers on absolutely everything, so this every is a, every harness is labeled. Labeled and then also tagged. So when you go to the wiring schematic, it'll say right CD50 there. and you can find it knowing, hey, what is this going to? I each mean, hose. Come on, how simple is that? Each individual hose is labeled. Uh, and then you also see up here where the solenoids yep. are. Everything. They're all, all labeled. No guessing whatsoever. And we went tell when everything breaks. Okay. Sometimes so, things break. So since we're honest people, yeah. we're being honest with each other. Exactly. Can, can I give one small suggestion of the management? Sure, let's hear it. I think this needs to be located in a different place because death is corrosive and the computer's right there. We're working on a cover to go over top of here see? To, to take care of that. They're on it. You just got um, to talk to the right people. Gonna happen. You just got to talk to the right people. That's, and, and this is being nitpicky, but that's the only only thing I've seen on this whole machine that somewhat questioned me a little bit. Yep, it's but, a little uh, bit tough on these machines to get everything packaged in, especially. Oh, the I agree. Radius. Now, this is uh, this is a good time for you guys to talk about your uh, what's the uh, maintenance system 
Oh, high mate? High mate, yes. High mate is a fantastic option. This, this all comes into play into that. If you all of it. Everything is going in to high mate uh, on, our, on our telematics, telling everything that's happening, maintenance schedules, error codes, everything. It's getting reported via cellular data. Yes. Going back to your home computer, hey, even all to your app, tell you everything about it. Yeah, and that's, uh, man, I just, I can't say enough good things about that. I think high mate's a good. great tool. And we've got some, also some other school stuff where we'll be, we'll be able to push down uh, data to the machines as well for uh, each of diagnostics. All right, we'll hit on one more point back here. You guys actually manufacture your own pumps. Hydraulic pumps, hydraulic motors, we do, we're do. we doing it. And we took that stuff and we bought some of these plans, but we're building them in-house because we can control the, the core product from all the way through production and we know what happens. I've personally done a bunch of research on that because I was a little bit nervous about it. Right. And I can't find anything bad out there about it. No. Most no. of the uh, Hyundai, Hyundai had some uh, failures back in the older R model series. Yeah, if you got back some way stuff way, way but in the newer stuff, it's spot on. Bulletproof. It's spot on. So don't judge an old one and assume a new one's going to be the same. Is what we're trying to tell you, right? Right. Exactly. So, exactly. But another simple, simple engineering thing. It's just having a removable plate back here. Yes. To, to access that, to, I'm assuming that's to take off to work on different engine components. That's correct. It gives access to get into this side of the engine uh, when you didn't have to read the machine. So. Awesome. All right. We got one more, right? Yes. Let's do it. All right, guys, here at the show, and they got a brand new 210 AL they just released. So you were saying that this here is to kind of compete with a few other competitors and hit the rental market with the whole purpose behind it? That, that's it. That's it. This uh, fits just we below. We've got to professional. we got to spin uh, around. we got to get that in the background. There you go. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got so, it. We're on it. All right. So the 220 6.7 Cummins was what was in that, QSB 6.7. This 210, what we did, what we did with it, is we're taking a B 4.5 coming, so four-cylinder engine, a little bit lighter machine, kind of hits a different price point, and competes against some other folks so in the industry. It, it opens up, it opens you up to another whole other market. That's right. That's right. And that's I've right. ran some of these bigger machines with the four point or the four liter engine, four-cylinder engine in them. Excuse me, I can't talk. And they they do pretty good. They do good. Uh, cycle times and production. That that 22 ton machine with the 67, it runs really well. This machine runs really well as, yep. as, as well. I'd say the only time you may notice it is if you're using a high demand head on it. Yep. That's where it show up. And just normal cycle time, load the truck or stuff like that. We're gonna be fine. Uh, so the other thing that we have on this machine is it's an EPFC machine. Okay. It's Explain. A, a electronic. Pilot flow control. The electronic pilot, that sounds fancy. EPFC. So it's a different way that we control our pumps. Okay. Get better fuel economy and better performance out of the pumps. Awesome. So this machine is based around fuel efficiency, getting a different price point and hit a lighter market uh, with a four cylinder engine. Now, one thing you mentioned to me that I want to hit on is the emissions on this machine. This is Correct. what they consider a Cummins performance series and you said that there's no VGT turbo no VGT we go to a standard turbo charge and no EGR yep we drop our EGR so we're losing two expensive parts components and systems correct correct and then, correct. then the entire uh, emission system is one bolt-on unit for Cummins that, that's one piece Cummins designed it to fit right directly with their engines so uh, SCR DOC and DPF all in one all one, all one piece and uh, all designed from now Cummins. do we have enough pull in this booth to get a picture Let's go check that out. We probably make that happen. All right, let's make it happen. We'll call this Do Not Try at the Show. Look how fancy and nice and just clean layout that is. Sorry, I get sidetracked easy. Oh, that looks impressively simple. That's about all. No, that's where you can see it right here. Oh, yeah. So that's just one unit off to the side here. But look at that engine, how nice and clean that is. The layout super simple. Oh my goodness. Super simple layout. Very impressive. Very impressive. You guys know if you watch my channel, I work on a lot of machines. And that's one thing I look at. I don't care I don't care what brand you buy. It's gonna break. You're gonna have problems with it. Now every dealership has got a service truck. Exactly. So serviceability and being able to do some of that service yourself is a huge deal to me. And I see a lot of advantages looking down that hole. Very important, very uh, important. It, uh, and, and one thing I want to hit on about the Cummins engines is uh, they're cost effective to work on. Very Part, cost Parts are cheap and they're readily available. Yes, so. yes. There's always a Cummins dealer somewhere by. There is, there is. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Let's thank Justin here for getting us a tour around the booth. Giggle. Yep, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Check out the view from up here. It's awesome. Thanks for having us, sir. Thanks.